Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today we're going to start a part two series on box modeling. Now, let's clean up a few things before we go to poly commands. Uh, last time I talked about going from the different views by using shortcut keys P for perspective, L for left, T for top, F for front, B for bottom. I just left out for some reason F for front, so this was my day, and it happens every once in a while. Just want to say while you're doing uh, these control keys, every once in a while you might make a mistake because Alt C is uh, cut. But you might accidentally hit uh, Control C, which is camera view. And if you do that, go ahead and hit uh, the P button and then delete the camera you've created because you will not be able to arc rotate in that uh, view. Also, once again, you might accidentally hit Alt X for transparency. Just toggle it again. And now we're ready to go to those poly commands. So let's go to uh, 3ds Max and let's go ahead and hit uh, Reset to get back to our views. And then I'm going to uh, go ahead and draw a box on the stage in the orthographic top view. Let me say something about drawing these views. When you're um, doing simple creations, then you can pretty much do well in the perspective view, but as soon as your uh, creations get more complex, you're going to really want to lean on these orthographic views. Uh, you'll really be making a lot of mistakes as your scenes get complex if you try to do everything in perspective. So just a little bit of hint there. Uh, this is not centered, so the way to center that is just to right click on the uh, uh, translation tool there and just right click on each one of these uh, uh, spinners there and then you're, you're centered. So good. And let's get out of this. We're going to click on the perspective view and we're going to Alt W to expand it. And now let me say a little bit of thing, let me say a little bit more about arc rotate. Last time we talked about arc rotate, we want you to be in the third level arc rotate that enables you to uh, basically arc rotate around a vertex, an edge, or a polygon. Let me show that to you real quick. We're going to right click on this and convert this to an editable poly. So we can get to that sub-level. So over here we have our, our uh, modifier and we have our sub-level vertex, edge, border, polygon, element. Now you can access those with the left hand. Uh, go up to the upper part of your keyboard and you have your 1, 2, 3, 4. And mostly I will use 1, 2, and 4. So let's click on vertex, which is 1. And you click on the vertex and control, excuse me, hit 1 again. Hit Q to get out of the gizmo there. There we go. Let's hit 1 and select that vertex. Good and control R to arc rotate and you can see now I'm rotating around that vertex. Okay, for an edge hit 2 select an edge and control R to arc rotate and you can see I'm rotating around the edge. Okay let's select a polygon so hit 4 there you go and control R to arc rotate and see I'm rotating around that polygon. So you're going to find it's very uh, useful to use that third level of arc rotate and the 1, 2, 3, 4 key with your left hand to select those different um, sub objects. So good, we're ready to go. Let's start editing this polygon. I'm going to hit the Z key to get everything into the screen there. Then first I'm going to hit Q and get off the cube and hit uh, Z to uh, basically bring it all into the viewport so I can see it. There we go. Now I want to start looking at some of these poly commands. So uh, what we're going to learn are three simple ones today. Uh, shift E, uh, Shift, Control Shift B, and Control Shift C. Now we'll be learning more than three simple ones, but just for now. Shift E is extrude. So you can see when I've actually converted this to a convertible poly, if you go over here to the uh, right hand side, you can see I got a lot of commands over here on this side. Things I can do like uh, extrude, chamfer, break, weld, target. And I go to the different commands, and each one has its own set of uh, uh, things I can do. Uh, here's an extrude, chamfer, bridge for edge. And you go to poly, and see once again there's a whole set of poly commands. And so a lot of these commands I'm going to be using over and over again. And as opposed to stopping, go over here and, and grabbing the command going back, I want to use those she keyboard shortcuts. The first one I'll show you real quick is for the poly will be extrude. <clears throat> Real quick here too, there's this little options box here, and every once in a while you're going to want to use this, and we'll talk about that a little bit more, but now we're going to basically use the extrude command. I can click on here or use the shift E key, and that's what I'm going to be leaning on. So if I select a poly, and I hit shift E, then I can extrude it, just like that. See that? Now I can't see that I'm creating a po another polygon here, so let's go ahead and hit the F4 key to basically show uh, faced edges. So hit F4 and then you can see I actually did create another polygon and I extruded it. Let's go ahead and click right here on this side and do extrusion here. So control E to extrude. Excuse me, shift E to uh, extrude. And there you're extruding right there. 
Control R and R rotate so you can see the extrusion. There you are right there. Good. Uh, let's go to the next shortcut, and we're going to learn how to control shift B or bevel. Now, once again, I can come along here and hit this bevel right here from the uh, little control panel, or I can hit this uh, uh, side box here and get the, uh, uh, the, be able to actually control the numbers with the spinners. And that can be very useful for some cases, but if you're modeling real quick, uh, you can just use the short back, shortcut controls. I'm going to control shift B for bevel, and let's go ahead and bevel this out. So you do one, and you let go, and then you do the other one, just like that. Very useful command. Okay, so far we've looked at the extrude command, which is Shift-E, the uh, bevel command, which is Shift-Control-B. And now we're going to look at the chamfer command, which is Shift-Control-C. Let's do that real quick. Once again, you could access these commands over here in the uh, uh, panel, but we're going to use the uh, short shortcut key. Uh, the shortcut keyboard commands because it's just so much faster. So I'm at Q to get off of what I'm doing right now. I want to go to 2 for edge. Let's just grab an edge right here and just hit Control Shift C and let's chamfer that. And look at that, kind of chamfer that edge right there. Let's go ahead and Control R because you can kind of see what we're doing right there. There we go. Look at that chamfer. Let's try another one real quick. Let's go ahead and do it with a word vertex. So hit vertex. Set Control Shift C again. Click on a vertex, for example, and I'll chamfer that. Oops. Control Shift C. Let's select it first. So hit Q to get off what you're doing. Select the vertex, make sure you're on it. Control Shift C, and there your chamfer. Like, look at that. Isn't that pretty cool? Let's Control R and chamfer another one. Control R to rotate around. There you go. I'm going to hit Control P to pan over. Let's pan this over. Let's look at this side right here. Hit 1, Q, and then 1, get the vertex. Let's select the vertex. Uh, there we go. We're on it. Let's hit one for vertex. Let's select the vertex. Let's control shift C to get on that. And let's chamfer that edge right there. Wow, that's pretty cool. And you'll find that useful. Specifically, when you start uh, modeling faces, you're going to find this chamfer extremely useful. Specifically, because it actually creates more polygons, more more vertexes for you. Let's go ahead and chamfer the, an edge right here. So hit two. Get on edge, and let's chamfer this. You can take a look at it. And control shift C to chamfer. And there you go. Look at that. Isn't that great? So you'll be using that command a lot as well. Let's go back and learn some more poly commands. Uh, very important here, of course, is going to be the Alt C to cut, and we want to look at ring and loop. So let's go ahead and do that right quick. I'm coming along here and go ahead and reset this and take a look at another cube. Let's draw another cube or box on the stage. There we go. And we're going to get back into this view. Q. Click on there, Alt W to expand, so we can look at what we're doing, and Z to get the everything into the viewport. Good. I want to once again right click and convert this to an edible poly. Let's Q and make sure to select it. Right click edible poly. And it's at four so we can see the edged faces. Cool. I'm in the polygon level right now, so I can go ahead and hit one, two, three, or four. That's it. One, there's the vertex and uh Two. Let's get to the edges because I want to actually create some edges here. So, Control R to arc rotate around. I want to select these two edges. Now, let's go ahead and hit two for edge. Select one. Okay. Select one, and I'm gonna hold the Control key down to select the other. So, let's select it now. And I actually want to show you how to basically connect these two right here. So, if you go to the uh, Control panel over here you can see there's something called connect. If I hit connect, actually what it does, it splits these two and gives me a line. Let me arc rotate so you can see that. So now I've split these two. If I go to four, I'll show you what I mean. Uh, you can see there's a polygon there and a polygon there, so I was able to cut that in half. Now I have a problem here. I don't have a shortcut key for that, so I actually want to create one. So if you go to customize, customize interface, you can see Here's all the possible commands in 3ds Max, and you can see besides those are all the possible uh, shortcut keyboard commands. So, for example, if I go to um, uh, connect, so here I am, and I can see my connect uh, with uh, dialog polygon. I actually want to create a keyboard shortcut command here. So, if I click on that and I hit the hot key right here, I can go Control Shift. We'll just choose F for faces, like I'm cutting a face, and hit assign. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And now, when I go to my uh, keyboard shortcut, that will exist. 
Now, I'm going to encourage you not to create a huge number of keyboard shortcuts, just a few that you can remember. And uh, that's typically what I do. I usually have four or five that I, I create. And now I actually want to do this programmatically. So I'm coming along here, I'm going to hit my edge. I'm going to click one edge, and I'm going to control click the other. And now I've actually programmed in that new sh uh, keyboard shortcut command. So if I hit con uh, shift, control F, look, I've actually cut that. So just remember, if you forget what a keyboard shortcut command is or you uh, want to create one, just go to Customize and uh, Customize User Interface, and that's a list of all your sh possible commands, all your keyboard shortcut commands, and you can create uh, shortcut commands as well.